um, I came with a good recommendation from my dentist, so um, that was a, a help, and you lived up to my expectation. The, the welcome was uh, superb. Uh, my name is Bruce, Bruce Holder. I live in southwest London, and I'm here up in Regent's Park having some excellent treatment. I heard about you because um, I was referred from my local practice around the corner from me um, down to uh, a practice in Wimbledon for a root canal treatment. When I got there, I was told that I didn't need a root canal treatment, I needed to see you. Wonderful. So I was re referred back up to North London. <laughs> It's been a long, long journey. What was the, what was yeah. the problem uh, that the endodontist couldn't deal with? Well, on my regular um, hygienist treatment, it was discovered that I had a small abscess, which uh, was only an occasional leak from the front of my mouth. I hadn't even been aware of it. But it was discovered on examination, and it was thought that that could be dealt with by root canal. When I was examined in Wimbledon, it was clear that the the problem was long-standing because I had lost both my front teeth as a, a child falling off my bike and I had had a post in one of them and um, the other one had been ground down and uh, capped. Yes. Uh, but um, there had been some damage to the bone which, which uh, was picked up when I went to Wimbledon yes. and for that reason it was felt that I needed um, perhaps more extensive treatment uh, and that's what I got from you. Um, but I was concerned obviously about the bone damage and whether that could be done without a, a full burn graft uh, and there's obviously some recession in the gum which needed to be dealt with as well. Right, so in summary what treatment have you had? I, I've, I've had a, um, a screw put in huh? <laughs> and I've had my bone protected or replaced, I'm not quite sure what the technique is. I've had a small piece of skin removed from the roof of my mouth and placed where my gum should have been um, so that my smile now, which I can't actually get my lip back over my front teeth anyway, so no one ever sees my gums. Um, but, uh, you know, I've got, I've got gums above the teeth now, which I didn't have uh, before, which is fantastic. What was your first impression of the team here at London Specialist? The welcome was uh, superb, and your explanation of uh, the treatment that I needed, having taken the x-rays and had a good look at those it was thorough uh, and I knew what I was in for. I mean you make clear the, the pricing and all of that yeah. uh, and um, that's all I have had to pay and uh, I hope. <laughs> and So that was fine. I made my decision with um, it was all carefully explained in advance. So I knew what I was in for which was the important thing. How have you felt um, through the whole Absolutely fine. I mean the only um, problem was when you after you'd taken the skin graft and you'd sewn my new gum in, um, you know, I, the inside of my mouth felt like a bit of a hedgehog because of all the stitchy, stitch ends sticking out. Uh, and also it was a, a, a little like, as you described it very well, a, a pizza burn yeah. in the roof of my mouth until that particular scraping of the skin had healed properly. But that didn't take long, it was a couple of, couple of weeks. Um, and I knew that was going to be fine because the stitches would come out, that would heal up, mm -hmm. and on we went. Now that you have had your new implant tooth, how does this particular process compare with what you had done originally? Oh, I, I try to forget these occasions. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> but I mean, you can just see every time you go to the dentist these days, the, there's been more science has been applied to yes the way people are treated. The technology is just superb these days. In the past, if I've had a crown, and I've had a few, they've always had to be cut off. And um, you know that's never very pleasant. Yeah. And then when they're cut off, all the cement has to be dug out, and that yeah. takes a while to clean it all up. But now it seems to me you just pop these things by adjusting a little screw in the back of the tooth, and out they come. Yes. And in they go. So Absolutely. that was fine. Yeah. That's how I see it from my end. Of course, what you see through your spectacles is rather different. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, it's the same. Your description is by the it's perfect. What would you say to the next person watching this video? Well, I, I mean, the, the experience is very good. I mean, in a way, it's like all private medicine. Yeah. Uh, you know what you're going to get, and it's usually done well. The only issue for everybody is going to be what it costs, but you tell me all about that in advance, yeah. so that's not a, an issue. So I would say, Opie is a very good dentist, and I couldn't recommend him more highly and I'm not being paid to do that. Wonderful!
Do I get a discount though? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, thank you so much. Okay,